Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful kings and queens and viewers of the World Wide Web. This is 2215. And if you take a look on my left-hand side, you'll see a gigantic flag. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing another 360 virtual VR immersive tour. If you're new to the VR tour experience and you're watching on a mobile device, all you have to do is move your mobile device around in any direction, left, down, up, right, turn it all the way around, and you can look at every direction around me, including me. You guys can look at me. Hello. <laughs> if the picture looks a little bit fuzzy, that's because YouTube automatically sets this video at 360 pixels resolution. You can adjust it to 480, 720, 1080, 1440, or 4K resolution. I figured that I'll take advantage since I'm on uh, Columbus Boulevard, right here at Penn's Landing. I'll show you guys what they did to this new casino over here. They're doing a lot of construction right here. So I gotta drive with caution. Eee! Sidewalk pimping. Let me walk it up here. There's a little bike path. Yeah, they're doing a lot of construction going up and down Columbus Boulevard. I believe they're making new sidewalks, trying to revitalize it a bit, make it cycle friendly. As you can see, I'm on a bicycle pathway. I'm going to show you guys where the casino is at. It used to be the Sugar House. Now I believe it's the Rivers Casino. I believe so. I'm gonna to try to keep my speeds on level one, which is below 15 miles per hour. Level one tops out at 15 miles per hour. I'm not gonna to try to use level two unless I really have to. On my right hand side, we got the waterfront square, condominium and spa. You seen there was a female walking her dog. There was a little water fountain, water fall. If you guys take a look at my speedometer, you should be able to see how fast I'm going. Move to the left hand side, you'll see. Right now it's on cruise control at nine miles per hour. I think that's fair. So you guys can see a good amount of what's going on around me without me zooming by it. Yes, the Sugar House Casino is a thing of the past. It is now called the Rivers Casino. So now we're about to start entering the Rivers Casino property. up just a little bit because I feel like I'm creeping. Ring, 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 ring. You guys like my fancy horn? <laughs> my fancy bell, I should say. I need a more masculine bell. But then again, why do you need a more masculine bell when you're comfortable with your masculinity? <laughs> All right, on my left-hand side, you'll see the Rivers Casino. So I go like right through the entrance so you guys can see. Yeah, I'll take you guys through the entrance. Like, why not? Oh, they're playing some music, so I'll periodically talk. It says exit only, no person under 21 uh, of age permitted into the building. It must be of age. This is the entrance. Entering a designated smoke area. They have some outdoor, I guess, uh, chairs. They got a cigarette butt collector. The cigarette butt collector, so when you finish your cigarette, you can throw your cigarette butt into the collector. All right, so we're traveling nine miles per hour. I haven't really hit it yet. You can see all the colorful, what's that? I wouldn't say colorful glass. It's probably colorful paper behind each sheet of glass to make it look colorful. We have a jogger on my left-hand side. On my right-hand side, we have the Delaware River. I'm assuming this is a more shallow portion of the river. 
the deeper you go in towards the center, the deeper it'll be. I'm gonna go right here just so that, oh, it's bumpy, it's bumpy, it's bumpy, guys. But just so that you guys can see all of that on my right hand side, I'm gonna try to hold the steering tight too, because the more stiffer I hold it, the smoother the footage would be. But this is a pretty bumpy area. I'm riding on 10 inch tires right now. So hopefully that's giving you guys a much smoother experience. I think they should have put like cement here. I think they should have paved this a little bit better rather than just allowing it to be like gravel. It's like really fine gravel. We have a cyclist that just went by us, a female cyclist. Now, this pathway is going to merge into Pentreti Park. I'm gonna try to bunny hop up here. Well, that wasn't much of a bunny hop, but yeah, at least I got up there. We got three awesome looking little doggies. Hey, doggie. Hey, jogger. <laughs> I said, hey, doggie. Hey, jogger. As you guys see, um, safety first. I'm rocking the half helmet today. I got the gloves, the hardy gloves. And I'm wearing a face mask. It allows me to ride around stealth and incognito. <laughs> On my left hand side, you got the Rivers parking garage. And this pathway right here is what connects the Rivers Casino to Penn Treaty Park. Now all this, back in the day, was not like this. Back in the day, as in, I would say three to five years ago, definitely five years ago, this wasn't here. And they just made that whole strip of houses right here next to Treaty Park. People used to come here and go fishing. People used to come here, swim. But this was all uh, overgrown, like wild bushes, wild trees. All of this wasn't groomed. This pathway wasn't here. And on my left, those weren't there. There was actually like a beach bar right here, like 10 years ago, 10, 11, 12 years ago, there was a beach bar right here next to Treaty Park. Treaty Park, there's ducks here. It gives you a prime view of New Jersey. That's Camden, New Jersey. And right here was where the Bikini Beach Bar was at. I have some interesting memories. When I was a youngster visiting here. When it was abandoned, we used to hang out like behind it. Those homes are brand new. This project has been stuck on a standstill for the last, I would say, two or three years. They've been looking just like that for about two years. They haven't moved any further. I don't know if it's because of funding or you know something was put at a halt but yeah this right here is new this little pathway with these little benches right here this is all new if you come to Penn Treaty Park on a nice day it's really packed it's a lot of people here family people of all walks of life all of these little benches that's new this whole little pathway is a new addition look down you see these stones new addition this was right here all this was here this little pathway on the ground is normal. This was here. These benches on my left were here. The rocks on my right were here. This was, you know, pretty, pretty normal. As we move forward, you guys are going to see where there used to be like a, I, I don't know, I guess you can say like, I wouldn't call it like a halfway bridge. It was more like a dock. There was like a dock that went out here, probably like 25, 30 feet. And people used to jump off of it. People used to swim back in the 90s, but then they knocked it down. Um, this is a little spot where you can sit at. All of this on my right, this has been here. This is all just the same. Um, they're starting to do planting, as you can see. They planted a dozen, maybe looks like a dozen or two uh, trees here. We have some volunteers over there doing planting. If you come here at night, this new little addition that they did right here, I'm going to give you guys one more look before I bust a U-turn. If you come at night, this new little addition is well lit up. It looks very nice. This is a nice spot to come and hang out at. If you like, you know, fresh air, you want to be next to the waterfront, this is a real nice spot to be at. And it's free. And you know my saying, if it's free, it's for me. And majority of these other pathways were pretty much already here. A lot of these pathways have been here. There's a playground. There's a lot of dog walkers. Usually people throwing frisbees, uh, people in the summer, you know, doing little picnicking. But sometimes there's people over here fishing. This is D 
these little benches here. They actually just made these style of benches. There was already benches here, but not that style. They probably made that within the last two, three years too. I did an exploration inside this abandoned building behind me. This building right behind me, the Philadelphia Electric Company. I've been inside that building and it's on my page. I've actually been on the roof of that building and everything. That's on my page, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my belt be getting all the attention. Say, <laughs> like, nah, the second they hear the bell, they look away immediately. You know, somebody bought that electric company, right? They bought it in an auction for a couple million dollars for, for a small amount a few years ago. But it's an enormous, enormous building. Enormous. I've literally explored damn near, I would say, 80% of that building, 80, 90% of it. There's probably a small percentage that I did not explore, but I want to go right here so you guys can get a little look at this little, you see on my right? You see this little playground? As you can see, I'm doing my best to travel slow for you guys. Once we get on the main road, then I'm going to like push the pedal to the metal, or in this case, push the electric to the, to the spectric signal. <laughs> I don't know what else rhymes with electric, but... They're having an argument right there. He's talking about shooting the dude. Yeah, it might not be... Uh, it might not be effective for me to be riding around here because if a bullet flies, it's going to fly faster than I can scoot. <laughs> but I'm trying to bring you guys the news first. Yeah, he said something about He said, I'm not trying to fight I'm trying to shoot it out He said, I ain't fighting He said, I'm going to put you on the other side So I guess that is referring to Him having a firearm on him He told him to get out the vehicle He said, get out the vehicle, get out the vehicle I'm going to put you on the other side. He, that's, that's how he kept saying so. <laughs> and that's with this vehicle right here on my left-hand side. If you guys look behind me on my right-hand side, that's the vehicle they were arguing with. too many witnesses around though he was like talking extremely reckless with a ton of witnesses <laughs> he ain't had no mask on they would have been able to describe him his girlfriend they would have been able to describe his vehicle 
We're in a neighborhood with plenty of surveillance. Yeah, he started talking about filling the vehicle up um, with with bullets as soon as I was riding by, and I'm like, oh, like in my head, like, hold on. <laughs> Don't fill up the vehicle up with bullets just yet now. Wait until I pass it. <laughs> that's not funny. That's that's no laughing matter, especially because there was kids and, and there was there was old ladies around. There was a wide variety of people around. But sometimes that's how it is, you know? I, I don't know what the original argument stemmed from, but as the guy who was in the vehicle was driving away, he was telling the other people that the dude who was talking about shooting him wasn't talking all that stuff when the, the other dude was out of the vehicle. I guess the way the driver felt like the dude started talking once he was driving away. But either way, I don't think it was worth, uh, you know, causing all the commotion over. All right, guys. Do you guys mind if I hit a little bit of speed? I'm gonna hit a little bit of speed. Hold on, let me cautiously approach these two young women. Hello. Sorry. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit it on speed too. We out. All right, let me slow down. <laughs> All right, now we back out. Skirt! We're on Girard Avenue, we just passed Frankfurt and Girard. Oh, there's a fight here? There's a fight here, y'all. with some crutches. Wow, the man hit her with some crutches, yo.
Wow. Uh, yo, don't be swinging the um, Johns, yo. Don't be swinging the, the, the crutches. Somebody gonna get hurt with them crutches. Yeah, don't be swinging the crutches, though. The crutches, yo, why you? How come they broke them? Yeah, but somebody gonna get hurt with them crutches. Yo, what's this? A Royal Rumble? Don't, yo, don't put your knee on her neck, though. Don't put your knee on her neck. Watch it with that, with, with, with the crutches, yo. Pull up, pull up your shirt, man. Yo, y'all don't know what I did. It's not her, bro. I apologize for you. Come on. Hey, man, this shit was crazy. I apologize for you. You shouldn't have to get out. Y'all better get her the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm getting her out of here. Yo, thank you for coming, baby. Fix your shirt. Fix your shirt, man. Fix your shirt, fix your shirt. Come on. You want to fuck up You want to fuck up Yo, they, yo, they still going after. She, now she pulled out a knife. No, 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 stop. Put the knife away, man. Cover her up, yo, cover her up. Put Would somebody give her a shirt? Yo, give her a shirt, bro. She rapping? Why she out here? Why these niggas fighting? Why we out here? Yo, I think she rapping now. Yeah, she extra strung out right now. I don't know if she's drunk. Some people saying that she drunk. She... Yeah, that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. I ain't even expect to run into none of this.
This is borderline uh, fish town on this side, old Kensington on that side. We're on Front and Gerard. Once we cross Front Street, we're in old Kensington. crazy y'all I ain't know what I just ran into at first I was letting it it, it, it was kind of corny because the one dude uh, swung the the crutch I kept calling it a cane the one dude swung the crutch at the female but I walked into something that I didn't know was happening I didn't know if it was like a domestic dispute I didn't know if it was cousins fighting if it was friends fighting I didn't know who was fighting and from what I gathered at the end of everything the one female, the one with her, uh, with her breast out, uh, she came out, supposedly started fighting one female, and then she was drunk, and then the other ones jumped in, and they all started pretty much fighting the one female, which was crazy, you know what I mean? That it was like five, six of them fighting the one female, and she kept getting up and she kept fighting. Then the one female pulled out a shank, she pulled out a knife. It was a whole bunch of mess. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> it all happened so fast. I'm like, what? Like, it was crazy. It all happened so, so fast, y'all. I'm telling you. And then they called the police. The one dude jumped out the vehicle and told the other dude why was he swinging the crutches at the female. It's one thing to fight someone. That's one thing. But then to be... You know, swinging a crutch at the female. I mean, but then again, I don't know what the scenario was. I don't know if she was violent, you know what I mean? But before I got there, I don't know. Sorry, buddy. I don't know if she was violent, you know, before I got there. I don't know the scenario, but she was fighting with her breasts hanging out and everything, right? That was crazy. Thompson. We're in the old Kensington neighborhood. There's some police right there that just drove by us. Now, once we cross over 5th Street, we're on 5th and Thompson. Once we cross over this block, we'll be in the Ludlow neighborhood. Old Kensington is next to the Ludlow neighborhood. I'm gonna go one more block. I'm gonna cut down 7th Street. Yeah, that fight kind of threw me off my pivot because I ain't really expect it, you know? <laughs> this went from like virtual VR tour to Royal Rumble because everybody was hitting everybody. I was confused. Yo, the one girl got whacked with the crutches in her forehead. <laughs> Somebody swung the crutches and some random person got whacked with the crutch in the forehead. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yo, they kept, 
they, they kept using the crutches as a weapon. Like, I don't understand why they didn't just fight like, like normal. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's one thing to fight. It's another thing to use weapons. The, the people were using crutches. The one lady pulled out a shank. At the very end, she pulled out a shank and she was telling the chick, come close and I'm going to cut you. And I'm like, oh, yo, y'all, y'all drawing, like, y'all gonna mess with my, um, <laughs> y'all gonna mess with my viewership. All right, I'm about to go on the sidewalk, y'all. Oh, sidewalk pimping, sidewalk pimping, sidewalk pimping. Oh, there's a whole party over here. Oh, there's a whole party. Oh. Oh, that was Ski City. Y'all heard me ski out? I skid out. Oh, that's how I get more entertainment out of these scooters. Like, I go on the sidewalks. I, like, try to jump things. Because, you know, you, you know, you're only going uh, 20 miles an hour. So, you got to add a little bit more entertainment to it. Uh, skirt out. Skirt out, y'all. Saw that? Oh, y'all heard it? Uh, uh, and then I jump uh, right back off. go right passing Randolph we're on Cecil B more Some graffiti right here for all you graffiti enthusiasts you guys could take a look at the walls as i'm driving by them Ladies and gentlemen, I think that will conclude our very short tour. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone's support. Make sure to comment, share your thoughts below, share any knowledge, any memories, um, anything that you guys noticed from that fight. Let me know what y'all thought about the fight. Let me know what y'all thought about the new addition to Penn Treaty Park. Show some love. Hit that thumbs up button. Sharing is caring. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. I mean, only you can help this channel grow. So if you click share, copy and paste this link on any one of your social networks text it to a friend and or email it to someone that'll be greatly appreciated with that being said thank you all for watching this is your homeboy tune mr tune be chilling tune ski tunism bad tune tune one tunage tuner tuny kali fragilistic xp all that dosis why there's an exit right here wow that looked like an accident right wow too tune wow Y'all can call me too wild. Cause I swear that I'll be catching stuff like out of nowhere. Hold on, let me go take a look at the situation right here. Wow, it looked like there was just an accident here, guys. I saw <laughs> we've done captured a wide variety of shenanigans today this is your hooligan your homeboy toonie magoonie toon be chilling and i'm tuning out <laughs>